These are on loan to us from uh, NASA Langley, where they have the hypersonic wind tunnels. And they actually show designs of the space shuttle the way it was not built. The black one here, it shows the orbital vehicle mounted on top of a mothership. The wings sticking out like that were you know, prone to be burned off, so uh, the whole uh, dynamic of re-entry was different. It would have been a little steeper, but the problem was it wasn't a very good glider. So that design, out the window. A UFO, right? Yeah, there. it's like a UFO. It's called a lifting body. Why bother bringing wings when we can make the whole body shaped like an airfoil? So that's actually the HL-10, and they actually made a man-carrying version that was flown, hanging under the wing of a B-52 bomber, drop it, the pilot would light a rocket motor, fly really fast, and then slow down and land it like a glider. You can actually see that it's a little singed from being in the hypersonic wind tunnel. That thing is actually flown at a, uh, a scale airspeed of probably 20,000 miles an hour. This was an idea from around 1970 where they thought that instead of using a rocket to blast off straight up, why don't we put it on a real high-speed train? Get it up to a very, very fast speed, and then the orbital vehicle can then separate from the train. The problem with that is it used so much fuel, and it was so large, even the orbital vehicle ex itself would have been twice the size of the Ultimate Space Shuttle to carry about half the cargo. Of course, this is the shuttle in its final configuration. You'll see it's got a lot of spots on it. Those are repairs done. This wind tunnel model has flown in every wind tunnel at NASA Langley and a few that the Navy has too. And those windows are carved in to give the correct drag coefficient. Look inside, you can see some of the uh, wiring and some of the control mechanism. It, it all works. 